Hi, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you the 3D modeling processes by using the AutoCAD and convert the prop to the icon. So the first we just need to start the AutoCAD. Then stand by your icon and your 3D exchange. So if this is the first time you open your AutoCAD, you just to click start drawing. So in the AutoCAD, just come to the corner here, you click the setting. So now you have two modes. The first one is basic, another one is 3D modeling. So take the 3D modeling. You will load all this. The next I'm going to show you how to control the AutoCAD. How to view as the angle that you want. If I scroll my mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out. Go to the right side here. You click the orbit. Now by using your left click drag, you can view the world rotate the world as the angle that you want. If you use your mouse middle click, then you can drag the world, you can move the camera. Next, I'm going to show you how to create some basic shape. To create some basic shape, for example, box, cylinder, and sphere are here. If you want to have more, you can just... Okay, I escape everything. Just now I'm rotating the world. If I want to quit from rotating, I need to press escape so that it back to the select mode. Okay, if you want to draw, you want to create some of the 3D basic shape, you need to back to here. Click the setting, select the 3D basic. At the box, click here. You have some of the basic shapes. You can just click. So now you're already creating a mesh. Then back to the 3D modeling. And here you can view the world. Click here. Conceptual. Then you can see your 3D mesh. Rotate to view from different angle. For very basic tutorial, if you want to export this out, I minimize everything. Just do a demo for you. So if I want to export this as demo, I open a folder. Demo export FBX here. So in your Autodesk, just to click here. Export FBX. So this is on the desktop. Click desktop, my folder, and you can name it after that. Save. Click OK. Now it exports as an FBX file how to make it, how to import into iClone. 
you have two choices. The first, you can direct drag into the icon. And at here, you direct, go to the custom. Click the prop first. This custom. Prop. So at here, you can direct save. Demo prop 01. Now you already save it as a prop. You can drag it and use it anytime. This is your prop. So now you see this fiber is at wrong location. This is the fastest way that you direct drag into your icon. The second choice, we don't use the icon first. The second choice, you drag into your 3D exchange. At here, you see the world axis origin is at here. So I can just click align to center, align to ground. So automatic appear at the center, reset transform, then apply to icon. So it's automatic at the center. So now save as a prop. Click here. Prop. Custom. Click plus. Demo. Prop. Zero two. So for this one, it's better than just now. Because I already set the pivot at the center. That means when I want to move it, I press W. I can resize it. When I save it, I can use it anytime. Some more I can change the color. Come here to change the, the color. The diffuse color is here. If I want red color, just choose red. Click OK. And change the color. Then I can make it smaller. I can transform it. Okay. Let's say if I want to attach two prop together to become one single prop. That's here. I can put at a good location that I want. Then here I drag down. Select here first. Drag it down. Attach to a parent then I pick this so now when I double click this this one already become a big prop so now I save this prop at here plus no okay then this is demo prop 03 so this one become a more complicated prop a prop with a sub prop this one, you still can change the location, but it already attached to this prop. So this is the way that we create a new prop. In the AutoCAD, this one, I just click here, release my mouse, drag to here, then click again. Select, if I want to delete this, I just to press delete. Okay, again, if I draw another pyramid, you see, you still can adjust the point. The height. Once I rotate it, I need to press escape to back to the select mode. For this line, okay. 
So now if I click top, it will build from the top again. I select this and I delete it. So this one I refresh new. This one I refresh. So the next skill that you are going to learn is that learn how to draw some different shape and extrude it out. So first I'm going to choose this, the polyline. Once I choose this, then here I click the top. Draw on the surface first. Okay, so like this, then I one click, two click, three, four, five, six, seven. Once I already connect the final point with the first point, then I press escape. This one automatic become a shape. So now I rotate to have a better view. Okay, so how am I going to extrude this? Just the press pull here, then I select this, then I can make it extrude it out. It becomes your shape that you can export as FBX. This one I name it drawing two. Drag into your icon, OK. Then align to center, align to the ground. This is too small. We can make it bigger. You can apply to Iglon. Use your favorite color, the color that you want, then save it. This is demo pro 03. Demo pro 04. So these are my demo just now. Escape. Escape again. I can select. Click. Okay, something like this. One click. Two click. It automatically will select the area. Delete. Okay, now we learn to draw some basic. With the top. So you see, I scroll this. Just now, why, why it is too small? Because just now I zoom, zoom in this way, then I draw a small shape right there. So if you want to draw a big shape, you just to zoom, zoom it more. To look more boxes here. Now I draw a big one. Okay, for this one. Polygon. Click. Okay, sorry. Select the polygon, click it. Here, how many sides that you want? A pentagon, a heptagon. Let's say I select seven. Then I enter. Then I click and move my mouse cursor. Sorry. Again, I will re redemonstrate again. First click, and 
and you type in key in how many sites that you want let's say i i type in six enter then i just to move to the place that i want click then enter drag it now i already create a shape now can view your shape this is polygon if you want to extrude that extrude it out yes you can So how about a circle? You can draw a circle here. I can just select the first one, click, click. Okay, now you have a circle. If you extrude it out, click extrude, click at the place, click extrude. Enter. After you select it, enter, move your mouse cursor to a place that you desire, then enter. Okay, undo again, click, enter, enter. Should be something wrong here again. Draw a circle, select the circle, extrude, click. Ah. This is a correct way, this is a correct demo, this is a wrong demo. Square, rectangle, Extrude. Okay, so in my tutorial, you can see my mouse click, you can see my keyboard stroke. So just to follow my action, it's hundred percent step by step that you can follow. So now I already draw four shapes here. If I export it out as FBX, they all will export all together. So we can have a try. This one fresh. Don't want this. new so this is the latest i export it all automatic export together just have a look so in this way we are very difficult to make modification because it become four different mesh if you if you apply to iclone all will send together so if you want to create something you better every time you create a shape then you just to export it out then apply to iclone so that all will become a single shape then after that you just combine them together by using the attach function in iclone just to attach it to another prop to create a prop that you want Okay, so I, I delete all this. So in, in AutoCAD, you cannot drag in this way, you cannot. If you want to select all this, yeah, as cactus, you want to select all this, you just need to have one click at here, release. Then move your mouse 
cursor at here and give another click. So this one's slightly different from iClone. So I delete this. So now I, I create a polyline. Okay, before I, I start drawing, go to the click the top so that you can draw on the surface. Make sure you can see the small boxes, otherwise your prop will be too small. So now this is a polyline. Okay. One. Okay, if at here I just escape, it is just a line. So now I select this. Okay, I click. I click this. Select radius. I want to make this corner smooth. So now it's the time to make an estimation of the radius here. How long of the radius that I want? Let's say like this. Then I can click here again. Click select radius. Okay, then I click here. And here, again, where is it? Here, click this, radius, from here. Okay, then I select this to here. So now it becomes smooth line at the corner. So I escape, I escape. And it will back to the select mode. I select this line. If I want to copy, Control C, Control V. Put. Uh, so now, now you can copy and paste this. Even the shape also the same. For example, if uh, I draw a cone, if I draw a cone here, okay. Now I view it. Okay, I make it higher. Oh, undo. If I just want to make it taller, okay. rotate. Okay, if I select this, I can move it. If I want to rotate it at here, you see, 3D, rotate. So you have this, you call it out the gizmo at here to make you, to make the rotation available. So you can rotate it if you want. So you see just now I already have line. When this one is selected, the rest disappear. You cannot see. So if you escape again, the rest will appear. So for this, if want to I want to copy, I also use the same method. I click here and click here, it's select it. Want to copy, it's control C, then paste is control V. Put your mouse cursor. So now this is just a line. This is not a shape. How about if I close the line? Then I escape. It will automatically become a shape. Let us try it, see whether it can extrude or not. 
I select this, press, okay, wait, I escape. I click here and click here, selected, extrude, yes. But this one is just surface, okay, because this is just the line. However, if you, you draw it, for example, this one, I made another copy. Copy and paste here. So I also repeat the same process. I join it, this one. I join here and join here. Escape. If I do another step, I try to combine the line. Which one is the join? Join. Join. So now it, it become all joined together. Become. Then I try to extrude it out. See now it is a mesh. So just now this is one line. This is another line. It's not joined, so it consider just a surface after you extrude it out. So you have to join it. You can type a command here. This this line, if I want to move it, just to select, you can move. Okay, so so now I'm I'm going to delete this, select it. Sorry, I escape first. I just want to select this. I skip everything, click here, I delete it. So if I create a shape at here, select the top. For any shape, I want seven sides, enter. Just to click here, enter. So now I have this, this shape. I also can draw a sim simple shape. So now I escape back to the selection. This is a shape. This is another shape. So now I'm going to create. Let this shape to become a road along this path. So what should I do? I escape everything first. Just to come here, sweep. So select the object to sweep. So I select this. Now. After I select this, I enter. Now select the sweep path. I select this path. I click here. So now you can see it automatically follow this path to sweep as a pipe. Okay. So this is a very unique pattern. How about if I draw another okay, another line here? Remember every time you want to draw something, you just to click at, on the top to show in the 2D mode. Now I just simply draw some line. Okay, then of course I can make it smooth. Radius. Estimate the radius, then click it. Click here. Okay, so this one I don't want to change. This is a line. Now I can draw a circle here to create a pipe. Okay, 
Okay, one circle. Okay, I undo, I make it make this circle smaller. Again. Just to draw a circle here. Okay, after that I select sweep. This is a sweep just now, sweep. Select the object to sweep, select this. Then enter. Select the sweep path, I select this. So now it become a pipe. Sorry, it become a rod. Okay, I rotate to see. So in this part, I make it smooth, it automatic follow. In this part, at this part I don't want to change. So this is just a road. There's no, no hollow space in between here. So how about if I want to create a pipe? I repeat the same process here. Just draw a line. This one, draw. So I make it smooth. Where is it? This. Click radius. Estimate the radius. Then click in between. So here also can do the same thing if you want. Click radius. Estimate the radius. Click this and click this. So automatic. Make it smooth. So if I want to create a pipe, that means I need a hole inside. I just to draw two circles. Okay. Draw one circle first. Then I draw another circle at the center. So when you move it around the original circle, you show the center, then you click at the center. Then you release wherever you want. So I want to create a pipe now. I just to repeat the same thing. I click the sweep. Now you see the command. Select the object to sweep. I select this and also select this. No need to press control. Just to click again. After that, press enter. Now select sweep path. This is a sweep path. So now, just to let you see, okay, so now how many mesh you have? I press escape, then I can select this mesh. Okay, something wrong here. Okay, I select this. See, I press escape so that this select everything. Then I click the inner part. Then I press delete. Sorry, it's still not delete. So I undo. So now we, use, we, we need to use another command. Here we type. Now I deselect everything first. Escape. Here I type subtract. Here. This one will pop out, you just to click. Now the command. Select solid or surface to subtract from. So I click the inner part. Be careful. Okay, now highlight this, I click. After that, I press enter. Select the solid surface and region to subtract. So I select the outer part. Click and then I press enter. Sorry, I have to redo again. What's going wrong here? Subtract, select the solid surface or region to subtract from. I choose the outer. Then I enter. Select solid surface and region to subtract. I select the inner part. So just now I do a mistake. I reverse it. Now this one should be okay. Then I enter. So now you see it become a pipe already. You can rotate it and check it out. This mesh is a pipe. 
से so now if I export it into iCron click here export FBX this is drawing five save so we check our mesh for this time I direct make it into iCron because this is just a demo, I just want to check whether it works or doesn't work. This object contains seven meshes. Would you like to break up the meshes into subprop? This time I select yes, maybe it will help me to separate everything. So, okay, perfect. Everything already is separate. So you see, the pivot is here. I just will come here. Go to find the fiber and I select the center. Then I press F. Then I can view this. Yes, this is really a pipe. See, inside is, is hollow. How about another side? All right, it's hollow. So how about this? The first demo, this is just a rod. Then this is a pipe. But this time I can save this as a prop, as a single prop. Okay, click here, click plus, make sure you select here, click demo, prop, zero six, hide. Alright, the next I'm going to show you how to dig a hole on the mesh. Actually, we, we're still using the same function, that is the subtract. For example, now I, I draw a cylinder here. I want to dig a hole at anywhere. So, okay, this is a cylinder. As a backup, I escape and click here, I copy. And I paste a few here. So I want to dig some hole at here. It's pretty easy. First, I escape everything to deselect everything. I click this. Select. And here I rotate it. Let's say I want to demo that a bullet is penetrated through the pipe and create a big hole here. So this one. I select it and type 3D rotate. 3D rotate is here. This is a command. So I want to rotate this first. So now I'm orbiting the world. After that, I need to press escape. Then it back to the selecting mode. I rotate this. Until the desired position, I just click again. Okay, where is the position now? So here, I want to move it. Sorry, type here, 3, D, move. You back to the movement, this move. Alright, now, it already penetrated right here. Okay, let's get down a little bit. Okay, then I escape to deselect everything. Now I want to dig a hole here, I can use a subtract function. This one I escape, escape everything first, then use a subtract function. Click the subtract, select the solid surface and region to subtract from. I select the mesh, then enter. Okay, I need to click 
Select already, enter. Select the solid surface and region to subtract. So I select this. Enter. So now it instantly big a hole here. The subtract means the mesh will totally disappear and we create a hole there. Just have a check. Is that really big a hole there? Yes, this is a perfect hole. To demonst demonstrate that a bullet is just penetrate. <laughs> then there, create a hole. So in Icon 3D animation, sometimes you need to create some specific prop that you are unable to find from the Reolution content store and marketplace. No choice, you have to create yourself by using the 3D modeling software. So now I just want to delete this. Uh, sorry, I want to extract this out. No choice, I have to export everything. Export as FBX. This is the 6. Save. Okay. So the icon, I just to start a new template. I, I want to remove all this because just now I already saved my pipe. So now this one direct to icon, direct drag in and separate the mesh into sub props so that you can select one by one. Yeah, it's somewhere here. Okay, now this one already create a perfect hole that can you see. If I double click and make it some color, then it is more obvious. Okay, now you can see inside it is still the pipe. Then the hole is penetrated here. So I just need to double click this. Where is the pivot? It's too far away. We cannot see the pivot, then you must to come here. To find the pivot, you click here. So now it's already at the center of the axis. Double click this. And save as a prop. Choose an angle that make you easy to know that what is this prop. So a hole. So now I come to this one. Prop. Custom. Click plus. This is demo zero seven. Demo prop zero seven. Open bracket a pipe with hole. Enter. So now, if I start a fresh template. I already have this new prop. It is very awesome that you can create all these props by using the Autodesk AutoCAD. So now I just want to delete everything. It's very simple. Click here and release the mouse. Move your cursor to here and click the second click. I press delete. So now, the, now another subtract function that I want to show you is actually it can be any of, let's say for the sphere, I draw a sphere here. I can draw a cone here. How about if I want to subtract the cone from the sphere? There's no problem. You just escape and select the sphere. You move it to the cone. Sorry, you have to view in a better angle. Escape. Okay, like this. Release. Okay, wait. It's a little bit difficult. Wait. Escape. View. Zoom. So this one. Escape and I select this. 
Okay, like this better. Click. Why I cannot move this? Okay. What's wrong? Okay, success. Okay. Enter. There should be something wrong. So I undo everything. Just delete this. Create a new sphere and, and test what is the problem. Escape. Okay, like this, no problem. Just to move your cursor to the plane here, then you can move it easily. Okay, then release again. Escape. So now I want to subtract this part and create a perfect curve on the cone so now I can type subtract select the one that you want to remain then enter now select the one that you want to subtract then enter so now you, you look at your cone you already shape it by subtracting the mesh so this one you can apply in any of, of the shape any of the mesh and create any patterns that you want it's very amazing that you can export to your 3d animation software export as fbx this is drawing 7 fifth okay this one I start a fresh new template I save already direct drag in Press F, go to the pivot, select the bottom center, F. Now I have this unique shape as a prop. Edit. Demo prop 0, 8. So now I have ready. I feel I can, can't even to reshape it and re-transform it it's pretty easy in Iclone to create a new stuff and then I double click and save it again okay now I have this totally different shape cool and awesome so now this one I back to the top This one I delete. So the next I, I'm going to show you is the next function that I'm going to, going to show you is the revolve. Revolve means you create a shape that you can revolve any degree. So how? First, for example, I just want to draw a glass. So I just to click here, like this. I 
as the structure of the glass. Draw it at the halfway. So now I already create a shape. The next one, I click Revolve. So I select this. And now I want to enter, enter first. Now it specifies the axis to start point. So I start from here and I create a rotation axis. After that, here you can see you can type here. So I, I don't want to click first. I type 360, enter, then escape. Now look at this mesh. What is this actually? So this is a glass. It can be a dustbin also. It depends on your angle. Okay, then now I, I try another one. I make the angle smaller. Then escape. Now I already have a shape. I want to create a container. Modeling, sorry, not here. Where is it? Okay, revolve. I click. Select the one that I want to revolve. After that, enter. Then now I choose the axis. Start from here. This is a rotation axis. And here I type. 360 degree then enter so now I just to export export as FBX this one is drawing it save enter ok drag into my icon This one, drag in. Yes. So now check the mesh. How many mesh I have? One and two. So the angle is wrong. First, I just to come here, rotate it. I can press, press E, rotate it. So this one should be 90 degree. You see when you rotate it, we want an exact value, 90 degree as a quadrant. Enter. After rotate the angle, just go and adjust the axis yeah, at the bottom. Okay, so now this is a dustbin. It can be a container, whatever that you want. So this one. So this one, what is this? This one the same way. Yeah, this is a glass. So should be nine, rotate 90 degree and put the pivot at the center bottom. Center bottom here. So now, now you can save it separately. You can give it the color. For example, I like orange color, I like red color. I double click it. Sorry. Use this. Press Q first. Double click. Here, prop, custom, plus. So this one already said I can delete it. I already have this prop. I can use it anytime, as I want. Then now this one, change the color that I want. I say, green color. Wow. Okay. For this plus save as a prop that I can use it anytime whenever that I want. So this one I click here, click here, delete, select at the top, you scroll until you see the small small boxes. Now how about if I want to create a cover? 
Okay, I just to draw again. Draw in a half way. Okay, that's good. So here you can always make it smooth. Just to select, okay, when, sorry, this one have to maximize first. Now I want to make here smooth, just click here. Select radius, select a radius here, a bigger one, then click here, click here. Okay, is this smooth already? Select another one, radius. I want to smooth it here. Then I click here, here, smooth already, here, again, click here. Sorry, have to select radius first, then make a radius, then select here and here. To make this part smooth again, now here I also want to make it smooth. Radius, create a radius here. Here, right? Yeah, like that. So this one, I, I also want to make it smooth. Yeah. Radius. Okay. So now I want to revolve through this as is to make a cover. Can be any as this. Yeah, I click revolve. So I select this. Then enter. Click here. Select this as this. Unable to revolve. Why? Is is that all not connected? Let me check first. Click here, here, okay. join, join. Then I try again. I already join all the line. Revolve. Select this. Enter. Select the radius. Unable to read. Re Revolve the selected object. So now I undo, undo everything to make all the corner back to the normal. Try again. Okay, revolve, select, enter, select the, the radius. Okay, now success. 360 degree. So now it's 360 degree. Okay, this one become a cover already. This one I export it out first. Export. FBX. Drawing line. Cover. Okay. So if I redo it, sorry, undo. Control Z to undo. Undo. I can make it just half only. Okay. Revolve. Enter. Let's say if, if I don't want 360 degree. Again, C 
connected. Escape. Revolve. Enter. Select and exit. What's going on? What's wrong with this? In this problem, maybe some of the line is not joined. Okay, now you can type in the angle, maybe if I want 90, maybe if I want 360. 360 is a full circle, I can just want to have 3 quarter, 270, enter. So now I have, I have this shape, that only 3 quarter. It depends on the, the, the angle that you want to make. So this one, escape, I delete this. Okay, I don't want to select this. Select, delete. Export it as FBX. This is a cover. But it only three quarter. You can create any prop there. If you want to dig a hole here, still the same. I can create a hole just to create a cylinder. Okay. okay, to make this, this one I can rotate. 3D rotate. To create exactly a hole. Okay. So now, let's get subtract. Select the mesh. Enter. Select the one that you want to Subtract, then enter. So now I, I create another hole. Save as. It's not this. Export. FBX. Now it's drawing 10, 3 quarter. I name it with a hole. With hole. Save it. Okay. So now back to your icon. This is all I don't want. You drag it, the one with a hole, and the one without hole. Just to check it. Now you can see, the angle is, is wrong. Back to here. 90. And go down. Select here. So this one also. Rotate 90 degree. Here select. Here you go. 
If just now you type in 360 degree, it will be a full cover. So by using the Autodesk AutoCAD, you can create any of the prop that you want and import into your icon. This one I save it. I change color. Change color as I want. The blue. Save it. Enter. This one without hole. You can change the color. Exactly the same. To create the differences between the animation. Here, plus. Okay, thank you for watching. That's all for today. That I'm showing you how to use the 3D modeling software to create props and import into iClone. If you love my video, if you love my tutorial, and if you feel that it's really helpful for you, then you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Go to the bottom of the video and click subscribe. Click the bell to receive all the notifications for every time I publish a new video and tutorial if you love it. If you find it helpful, I will keep on post more and more tutorial for you.